Winemaking was a hobby for my grandpa in the early 1970s, and at that point he was making wine in his basement. He took uh, my dad and one of my dad's friends down to the basement one day to try these wines, and so he kept saying to my dad, he kept saying, well, it, isn't this good, isn't this good? And I think my dad got kind of sick of him asking that, and he said, well, yeah, if it's so good, why don't you bottle it and sell it? So that was kind of the, the moment that got the wheels turning, I think, in Grandpa's head to, to do that. The original property included a mill and Miller's house, which was built in the late 18th century. The winery building was built in the early 1970s, but when they built it, they really tried to keep with the aesthetic that was already here using limestone. And one thing that's really important to us here at Nisley is that we do a lot of estate bottled wines. Uh, estate bottled means that the grapes are grown on your property and that the wine was produced and bottled in your facilities. For something to be estate bottled, everything has to happen on your property. And that's something that when the business was founded was important to my grandpa and my dad running the vineyard. It's still important to me now. I think it's a really neat aspect of the business. The grapes that we're growing here right now, we're growing, I believe it's 16 different varieties. We have Native American, French hybrid, and vinifera grapes. This past year, we planted Merlot and Cabernet Franc and Petit Verdot and Barbera because we want to focus on also producing premium vinifera wines in addition to our sweeter wines that I think we're known for at this point. This coming year we're going to be planting Chardonnay and possibly some other uh, white vinifera grapes so we're definitely expanding the types of wines that we're producing but we are still going to continue to produce the wines that we always have. We're doing more events, for example we're doing now yoga in the vineyards which is a, a new thing. Uh, we're doing more pairing events, so pairing wine and food. So there's, there's lots on the horizon. People are definitely more discerning than they used to be when it, when it comes to wines. Um, so I think that's why we have remained popular because our wines are, are very high quality and we use good fruit and we don't use any additives, preservatives, flavorings, extracts. We don't put any of those sort of things in our wines. So I think that's one of the reasons why we've been around for so long.